Hello everyone out there in Chuck's Guitar Geekery. Today I'm going to do a demo of a vintage Boss PW1 Power Wah. I just have to say I'm an idiot. When I first did this video last night, I called it a Power Wah. It's a PW1 Rocker Wah. Oh well. This thing is old. It's made in Japan. You could use it as a door stopper. A paperweight. You can anchor a boat with it. It's huge, it's heavy, but it's lasted this long, so there must be something to be said about that. And it actually has quite a range of options to it. It's for the range of the wah, whether it's for the low notes, the middle is regular, like a regular wah wah, and the top one is kind of like a treble boost on the high notes. And then the width here will adjust pretty much like a Q wave if you've ever seen one of those and kind of widens or narrows the Q wave to as to how much it will affect the, your tone. To record today I have my Epiphone Les Paul. It's a 97 Korean made one with Alnico 2 humbuckers in it there with coil tapping. Going into my Epiphone Valve Junior here that's heavily modified on full volume, going through in a Weber Mini Mass attenuator here. I feel how hard those weather guys have trying to point to something while they're looking at a camera here, so bear with me. Going to the Weber Mini Mass, which has the line out going to honestly a line six pod for reverb and to control the overall level that's going to the mixer and then into a mower, 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 whatever, uh, radar, which is an IR cab simulator, which is going to a Vox AC15 Type 112 cab mic with the SM57. I'm going to start with the switch in the low setting with the width in, at 12 o'clock in the middle. So let's see what that sounds like. Start with my bass tone. <laughs> Now it's in the middle setting on the selector switch. Now I'm going to go to the high setting on the selector switch, still with the width control at noon. Alright, so now I'm going to play around with the width dial and see what that does. Uh, I'll start with the, my bypass tone and then I'll play with that a bit. So, here we go.
and I'm going to play along with a little backing track, have some fun with it, and get some different sounds. See what happens. <laughs> Like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Chuck's Guitar Geekery, Instagram at Guitar Guide Chuck, follow my blog at www.chucksguitargeekery.com, all one word, and until next time, cheers. Cheers. <laughs>